So firstly, thank you all very much for joining me. Um, I'm Lee Allen Arredondo, uh, and I'm here to talk to you about the Strategic UX Leadership Program. This is the first time that I, uh, sorry, the third time that I've run this. It's the first time that I've done it in this format. So it's a live cohort-based leadership development program. That's not new. What is new is I've got two tracks so that we can have folks who are in all roles. So previously, I've done this specifically for, for team leads and managers, the UX management track. I started with that. And I've realized that the majority of that content was actually really applicable for ICs, individual contributors at every level. And so I've kind of made it two tracks so that there's four modules for everyone and an additional two modules for team leads and UX managers to develop their team leadership and people management skills. So in each week's session, we cover specific strategic leadership skills. I provide exercises for developing those skills and you tailor it by working on what's most important to you based on your goals, your objectives, and your strengths. I'll be going into that a little more deeply. So I just want to mention there are some discounts right now until September 1st, which is Friday. And so you there's a there's a reason to to go ahead and sign up this week. Also, it it is a limited number of seats and so that's another reason to go ahead and not delay too long. <laughs> All right. So here's just a overview of what I'm going to talk about today. I will mention that the my presentation to you today is full of information and it's not actually how these live sessions in the course go. This is way more talking than I will ever do <laughs> in the course. I never talk for half an hour at a time or 45 minutes. So just to let you know. So I'm going to introduce the, what is it? I'll introduce the fundamental elements that we're going to be covering. I also want to let you know about the certificate that is new. I also have a reimbursement template that you can use if you think there might be a chance that you could get reimbursed by your employer. And I've got some testimonials uh, to let you see how other people have benefited from this. It's a lot to cover, but I just want to give you kind of a high level overview of what you could expect to learn and how the program has affected other UX leaders. Real quick about me, I have been a leader in technology, specifically in user experience, design, research, and strategy for over 20 years. I've led teams at big companies like Amazon, mid-sized companies like Getty Images and Brooks Running. I have led teams at agencies and startups. And now I'm a leadership coach for individuals and teams who want to create impactful outcomes uh, and for people who want to create um, a fulfilling and impactful career and life, really. I work with people at all levels. Usually my clients are looking to advance their career or make changes in their career or they're at a crossroads of some sort, <laughs> or even just feeling stuck and trying to figure out what's next. I, we all have been there and it can work out so much more quickly when you have support and structure to move forward and take action with intention. So I developed this cohort program to extend that kind of learning beyond just the one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've seen this need for more leadership and management development and support for years, back when I was leading teams and for myself as a team leader. I wish I had had access to something like this 20 or 15 or even 10 years ago. So I decided to make it available for others. I also, besides the coaching and the courses, I also conduct workshops and you can 
you can go to my site and sign up for all that kind of stuff. And I have a free workshop coming up in a couple of weeks on self-coaching and a paid workshop coming up in October for deeper coaching skills for managers. I also host the UX Cake podcast, which if you haven't heard of it, I would love for you to listen or watch. It is on all the podcast platforms as well as YouTube. It's really about all the layers that we need to develop, specifically kind of those soft skills and leadership skills to be more effective in our career. All right. So enough about me. I want to talk about you. I would love for you to, to let me know in the chat, what brought you here today? Go ahead and write those answers in the chat. What was it about the description of this course that resonates with you? Or what are you hoping to learn today? People join for a lot of different reasons. In many companies, there's a lack of executive level UX leadership or design leadership. So UX and design management often ladders up to product or engineering or marketing. So there may not be very many or any other design or research or UX leaders for you to learn from where you work. Carolyn, Hi, Carolyn actually is a previous attendee of the program, and she says she recently transitioned into leadership role and struggling with the unique challenges of, you. <laughs> sorry, early in the morning here in Seattle, the unique challenges of UX leadership. They are unique, and that's why I have this course with a focus on those unique challenges that we face in UX design, research, strategists, content, writing, front-end developers, you know, there's actually, you know, kind of a lot of specialties within, within this umbrella of UX. Awesome. Thank you. So thank you. I've been looking for a leadership program. Manager found it. Oh, awesome. And recommended it. Excited to improve leadership skills. Yeah. I lead all disciplines of UX, recently moved to director position at my company. That sounds like a description of other previous attendees. So you're in, you will be in good company for sure in this program. The unique challenges we're always having to champion for the impact of the user experience, of the user-centered process, of our design and research operations of the value that we bring to product development and the company. So that's a real challenge for everyone who's in UX design research, all of those disciplines. I'm going to talk just briefly about being strategic because it is such an important mindset for leaders. That's why it's in the title of my program. Very simply at its core strategy is creating a plan or a method for meeting high level objectives in order to achieve a vision for the future. And so being strategic means firstly, you know what that vision is, and then you're very clear on the objectives, your objectives and the objectives for your team and why they're important in the big picture. And then everything you're doing is in service to those objectives. And you have to do this at a level, not just for yourself and your work, your team and your team's work, but also in your own career. So, you know, there's so many levels to that, to being strategic and the lens that you can look through. Um, I also want to mention that the leadership I'm talking about developing in this program is not a title or position. So whether you are a director or a manager or an individual contributor at any level, you can be inspiring others and be a champion of progress regardless of your role. So I'm talking about being a leader through creating change. And that could be creating change through your work, the insights, the design, the process improvements that you're, that you're working on. It could be change in behavior or outcomes, your own, 
your teams and your in your relationships with others. So leadership is not an end goal. It's a journey. It's it's not a destination. You're not going to wake up one day and say, "Hey, I'm a leader <laughs> and I'm done." So it it just doesn't work that way. So it's a continuous process um and a journey. We're all we've always got things to learn. Some of you may have taken my workshop that I gave a couple of weeks ago that really dove into applying this strategic framework to a specific challenge. It's the same framework that we're going to be applying throughout the course. You don't have to have taken that workshop in order to apply it in this, in this program. But basically, we begin with a vision, looking at the big picture, identify the most important objectives. We have a lot of things we could take into consideration. So we're going to be strategic about what the most impactful objectives will be and narrow to to the highest impact and then prioritize the best ideas based on the impact for ourselves and for our teams. And the course is designed with this framework in mind. So you can stay strategic about what actions you want to put into place and what to prioritize for later. So a little overview about the format. I want to talk about just sort of how it's set up. There are weekly learning, I call them learning sessions. These are the 90 minute sessions every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific time. It's, we've, all, we've always had someone from UK or European time zones. So I, I try to make it, and, and India actually. So I try to make it friendly for multiple time zones. I can't hit everybody though. So unfortunately it doesn't work for people in Australia. But the majority of our participants are in across the U.S. So we have these weekly learning sessions. They're live in Zoom, and there is a big emphasis on exercises that prompt reflection and strategic thinking, and we have lots of breakouts. So every time I've done it, this is definitely one of the takeaways is doing this in a cohort with other peers. I offer an additional weekly group coaching and or mastermind. So every week, almost every week, not the first week, but every week thereafter, um, there's an hour group coaching or group mastermind. And those, uh, I'll talk about those formats a little bit later. I also want to mention roadmap. So the, it, the program's designed so that you're developing a roadmap throughout. And so your final exercise really is going to be putting all of these things into place, seeing how it all fits together. And the course is designed to really guide you through that process, as well as setting yourself up for success with an accountability partner, whether that's from the class or at work. So that time commitment is the at the very minimum, it's an hour and a half for that weekly learning session. I think you'll get a lot more benefit if you also put in that extra hour for the group coaching and mastermind. As far as homework or pre-work, the first session does have, those are all suggestions. <laughs> there is suggested pre-work for the first session so that we can get started right away from that very first day. But later sessions do not have pre-work. I want you to be able to use the time in between sessions to work on practicing what you learned in the last session. So putting that into place in the context of your day-to-day -day work. There are also other resources available each week if you want to dive deeper on anything. And also there are recordings of everything, including the... so the hour and a half session, as well as the one hour group coaching or mastermind. So if you do have to miss, then you can watch the recording. And there's also documents <laughs> to help you with the exercises and homework. So the overarching theme of this program is strategic because we cannot do it all. It, it isn't in our best interest to try. We can't move forward on all the great ideas 
on every opportunity for our development or for impact. We have to figure out what actions we could take that will have the most impact on moving us toward our vision and most important objectives. So there's three overall themes, self-leadership, building influence, and those two are, are in the track one for everybody. And then the additional track for management, there's also developing team success. And within each of these modules, you're going to have specific areas that are most important to you because everybody's at a different place in their career journey. So in each module, you're going to have options for customizing it to you. So you can be developing and practicing the things that are going to be impactful for you <laughs> because it's different for everyone. So you'll be working within the context of what's present in your current work situation. And that is one of the things that makes this program so powerful. I am going to just kind of briefly do an overview of the actual learning that takes place <laughs> through either four or six weeks. So week one, vision, values, and strengths. <clears throat> Crafting an inspiring team vision starts with defining our personal leadership direction. And it's also really important to be able to communicate this with others. What matters most to you? What contributions do you envision making? Your values, what's most important, and your strengths, what you're innately best at. Achieving your full potential requires being aligned with your values and your strengths. And the synergy between our vision and values and strengths is what fuels motivation. When we are not aligned, we are working against ourselves. Being in alignment takes so much less energy and makes us more successful. And if you're a manager, you can also apply all of this at a team level. And we'll talk about that as well <clears throat> in the course. So for me, early on in, in, in my team leadership career, I did not have a clear vision that I could articulate even to myself. I wasn't clear on my values. I, I wasn't even really clear on my strengths. I, I spent way too much time worrying about fitting into this or that leadership looking box <laughs> based on who I saw around me at the time. And it was not authentic. It didn't feel authentic. It wasn't authentic, but it also kind of whipped my head around often. So it's really important that we have this kind of grounding of ourselves and then offering this to those around us. The leader mindset your mind can be your most powerful ally and it can be your biggest obstacle. So we really work in the course on how to manage that. Having some tools that help us manage our mind is an essential building block really for anyone who envisions creating change. It's critical for acting from a place of reason versus emotion. And this can really help us develop Patience, curiosity, confidence, and overcome fear and anxiety and even procrastination. <laughs> Specifically, we're going to explore a growth mindset versus fixed and a learner mindset versus judger. So overall, self-leadership, I don't know, doesn't maybe, I guess it doesn't really sound powerful to some people, but gosh, it is a... It's foundational, really. It requires an intentional effort because if you rely on this to just happen spontaneously without your reflection and development, it really will lead to being overly influenced by whoever is speaking loudest in your ear at any given time. Building influence and impact. So much of our results have to do with how we communicate, how effectively we communicate, right? And we have so many ways of communicating. So you probably find one area of communication more challenging than another. We've got remote settings, 
a lot of asynchronous communication happening. We've got meetings, one-on-ones, communicating up, across, down, out, (laughs) presentations. So you're going to identify the areas to focus and develop where you can make the most impact for yourself and for your team. And you'll also identify how you can apply your strengths to help you develop effective communication. And then building strategic relationships, partnerships, and alliances in a way that feels authentic, not manipulative. So how to be a more strategic partner, developing partnerships across the organization that are mutually beneficial for the challenges and objectives that you face, and finding opportunities, maybe in places you hadn't considered before, that actually typically happens during this module. Moving on to the management track. So those previous slides are, everybody goes through that. And then if you opt for the extra two modules, you're moving into more of a team and team development focus. So all of your clarity, confidence, effective communication, influence can really fall to pieces if you don't have a cohesive team that's really motivated to implement impactful work and an ability to actually show the value and the impact of that work, right? So we're going to explore techniques for guiding your team's impact, ensuring that the work that they're doing aligns with the your overarching goals. We'll dive into developing assessments, how to measure improvement and creating actionable team OKRs or objectives and key results that can really translate a vision into more measurable success. And then developing others for success. This week is has a lot to do with learning coaching skills actually. We'll also go through giving effective feedback and and delegating is a great way to develop others. So the benefit of leading a team is that you can take a shared vision and make it real by working together. But the challenge lies in developing cohesion among a group of very unique perspectives and different viewpoints. Right. It is a very it is a challenge to manage or lead a team. Okay, so just to, to talk, so those are the things that we do cover every week in our learning sessions. The group coaching and masterminds, it switches between group coaching and mastermind. Those are differ in that with group coaching. There's maybe 20 minutes, so we usually get through three spot, one-on-one spot coaching, but it the whole group watches, and so everybody can benefit from seeing the coaching of one person. And, and then with the mastermind, it's like a chance to gather around a table with like-minded folks all on similar yet very unique paths. So you'll exchange ideas, tackle challenges, maybe even stumble into some of those aha moments that you might have missed on your own. So it's some, everybody loves the, the, both of these mastermind and group coaching sessions. In addition, additional benefit is for people who are registered for my programs, I offer a reduced rate for one-on-one coaching, and that is outside of the group coaching. That is just a one-on-one coaching for you to make further progress on guidance on, on your specific challenges and objectives. All right. Winding up in the past programs, we have had such a mix of participants. Everyone learned from each other, were able to apply the material to their own situations and challenges and objectives. We've had senior ICs, team leads, managers, senior managers, and directors, and senior director who's now in a VP role. 
we've had, like I mentioned, folks across the US, UK, India, and South America. And just so you can see some of the faces and hear in their words what was helpful for them, kind of their takeaways. Chimmy felt very isolated in her work. So this was a great opportunity for her. She really appreciated the the peers, being in a, a group of peers. Lexa, she was new to management, even though she was a very strong leader, like she's kind of a born leader, but she struggled with confidence in a new role, like is very, very common. So this really gave her more confidence to move forward. Alex, he was definitely in a, in a stressful place and found himself really focusing on tactical stuff, but wanting to be focused more strategically and through the program developed basically a roadmap for him to do that kind of a strategic roadmap. And he felt like a whole different perspective on what he could accomplish in his role. Michelle in Colorado, she at the time was a team lead. She's gotten a new job since then. And she decided to go back to IC. You know, a senior IC has a lot of opportunity for leadership. So she definitely has been utilizing the skills that she learned in the program. Okay, one last thing, second to last thing, a certificate of leadership training on your LinkedIn profile. This lets potential hiring managers know that you're really committed to personal and professional growth. And for your current company, it's a sign that you're practicing essential leadership skills. It demonstrates your proactive approach to increasing your own capabilities, your desire to contribute to a more dynamic team and the capabilities of your team. So typically, whatever whatever makes your boss look successful <laughs> is a great thing to, to pursue. Well, you know, within your own personal boundaries, obviously. Maybe that's not obvious. It's very important to stay within your personal boundaries and authentic to yourself. So finally, I really want to encourage you to ask for reimbursement from your employer if you're currently in a full-time role. This is an investment not just in you. It also benefits, greatly benefits your team and your company. So I have an email template that you can get that helps you sort of justify and request reimbursement from your manager. So the language is all there if you want that. Oh, let me put the link in the, in the chat. So you have it here. It is on my site. And with that, I can open this up to Q&A from anyone. I have covered a whole lot of things, but there's always a question someone has that I did not cover. We have a small group here in person. Um, so you can come Hi, off me. mute. Yeah. Yeah, this is Hannah Mari. Just a quick question about the Friday sessions, the the coaching sessions. What are some of the topics that you you've had discussed oh. there in the past? Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you for that. So those are always based on a challenge that someone is going through. So ooh, let's see. That's a really good question. Some of the things have been oh issues in perception of the value that someone's work has, you know, trying to identify how can I, how can I increase the, the, not actually increase the value, but the perception of value. So increase the visibility, right. For those around me, whose help I need, <laughs> especially if it's my own boss or partner teams, there's often challenges 
that come up with partnering with other teams. So those are really common challenges that come up. It could be with the development team or the product team or another design team or between design and research or <laughs> design ops and everybody else and some other challenges. Actually, we have had people who ended up, especially in this last one, because of the times we're in right now, people who were looking for work. And so that was the primary challenge they were facing. They brought it to the group or to the coaching and were able to really get ideas on moving forward. I don't know. Carolyn, do you remember any? <laughs> I do. I think that the power of this program, something that I really appreciated is the breakout rooms and the coaching sessions allow you to really get specific about what you're going through in a way that you just can't with coworkers in a way that you may not be able to with friends that aren't in the same field. It allows you a cohort of peers that are equally as passionate about the work that they're doing and interested in improving but you're able to get like really surgical about just kind of like, here's this situation with my supervisor. Here's the situation with my boss. And I think being able to talk about it, everybody learns something and everybody sees something in their own working situation. So you're able to leave these programs, not only with new insights that Lee provides with the classes, but also you learn a lot from the the peers that are in your class. And they became, I, I mean, honestly, one of my closest friends now in the area in which I live, I met her through one of the masterminds of this cohort. And she's just become a huge advocate for me professionally, but also like a dear friend. And I think post COVID, it can be hard to find community. It can be hard to find people like uh, in that way, professionally, if you're working remotely, I certainly am working remotely. So I think there's just a lot of positives, but yeah, you, I think that to answer the question of what is talked about, it's specific situations at work, or it, it's even specific things of like, we had one person who was at a crossroads where the values of his company were no longer matching up to the values of what he wanted to do. So he was, we ended up spending a whole session with him, just kind of like workshopping, talking about his values, getting a sense of what it is that he wanted. And he was able to lead that session with a lot of clarity to make a pretty big professional shift that he didn't anticipate. So it's just, you can't really expect what will come out of these, but they're clarifying. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you thank both. Yeah. And thanks for reminding me. There's a, there is a larger community of everyone who's gone through these programs. And so we have monthly masterminds all together. Everybody from every cohort is invited. So that's an opportunity to meet folks from other cohorts as well. Yeah. yeah that sounds very interesting. I am going to go ahead and send an email with links to the video, also with links to the reimbursement email template. And also, if you still have further questions, or if you're watching the video of this and you didn't get a chance to ask your questions, I am happy to have a call with you. And you can book that on my site, strategicuxleader.com. We'll take you directly to the program page and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. I really appreciate your time and so I hope that you were able to get the information that you needed and I'd love to, I'd love to see you September 20th. <laughs> That's the first day. I would love to talk to you if you do have more questions, just book some time. Thanks, Lee. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, what you were saying. Okay. Bye-bye.